Now, the secret here to losing weight is not merely eating the right foods. It's also getting rid of your, addict your addiction to the wrong foods. But the more you eat the right foods, the more you lose your addiction to the wrong foods. This is also very important to recognize that what most people think is hunger, which they see as shakiness and weakness and fatigue and anxiety and stomach cramping and headache, what they're calling hunger, I'm saying emphatically, is not hunger. Those are withdrawal symptoms from a poor diet. You're eating because you're an addict, not because you're hungry. And the way to get a, you a favorable weight is to get rid of those symptoms of ill feelings by eating right. So hunger is complicated. It's multifactorial. It's affected by the volume of food that you're eating. And I want you to eat a lot of volume of food. I just want it to be the right food. It's affected by the nutrients you consume. It's affected by the calories that you're consuming. And it's affected by these signs of food addiction. Let's talk about this. Number one, let's talk about volume. Because I want you to eat the high volume foods. I want you to eat foods like raw vegetables, snow pea pods, tomatoes, beets, cucumbers, carrots, cabbage, raw vegetables high in volumes, softens the stool, protects you against cancer, chewing them in your mouth forms the beneficial anti-cancer compounds. Raw vegetables chewed by you is an essential part of good nutrition and good health. But it suppresses your appetite. When you eat cooked greens, they're also low in calories. I want you to have a big portion of cooked greens every day. Fresh fruit, melons, grapefruits, berries, kiwis, papaya, all kinds of fresh fruit. It's low glycemic, low in calories, suppresses your appetite, and makes you feel good after you eat a meal of a piece of fruit. It marks the end of eating for the day after you had your nice dinner, dinner and then had a piece of fruit afterwards. You clean your teeth, you clean the kitchen, and you don't eat the rest of the night. You don't eat till you're hungry again. And the non-green vegetables, the non-green low-calorie vegetables like mushrooms and onions and eggplants and tomatoes and peppers and cauliflower, all these foods, right, all these low-calorie, high-nutrient foods. Let me review the four classes I just said. Raw vegetables, whether they're green or not, even the carrots and beets. If they're raw, don't forget, all the calories aren't absorbable. Let me say that one more time. When you cook the carrot, more of the calories are available. When you make it raw, you lose more of the calories. Raw vegetables, you lose some of the calories. You can't absorb as much calories from it. You eat a lot of raw foods, it helps you lose weight. Raw vegetables, cooked greens, fresh fruits, non-green vegetables. When you eat these foods, non when you eat lots of these foods, it occupies a lot of space in the stomach because the stomach can only hold a liter of food. You know? If you lived on some primitive island or you lived eating natural plant foods on your diet, you couldn't become overweight. It's impossible. It's only with processed foods and oils and salt and cheeses and things we do to, to we make foods, to we make it so calorically concentrated. It's hard to become overweight. You ever watch the show Gilligan's Island? I did when I was a kid all the time. And I finally figured out scientifically with years of study and contemplation that Skipper never really lived on that island. <laughs> he couldn't have, right? Because eating all these natural foods, he couldn't become overweight like that. You know, it's impossible to become overweight eating the right foods. The sign that you're eating the right diet is that your body will gravitate effortlessly without you having to count calories. And it'll take away your excessive hunger because the nutrients, the body senses nutrients coming through the digestive tract and that turns off your, your drive to overeat. So fiber, the bulk, and the nutrient levels turn off your desire to overeat. Overeating, though, is based on food addiction. And there are two types of food addiction. One is the dopamine high that you get when you eat concentrated calories, and you get at the dopamine, you eat oil, and you eat a lot of sugar at one time, or you eat cheese, you know, heavy concentrated calories, especially sweets. It puts a do dopamine surge in the brain, just like you're shooting up with a drug. It gives you that pleasure feeling in the brain, and you get addicted to it. You keep thinking about it. You can't get away from it. You want it. You're thinking about, oh, I, I got to go back and have my hit. Have my soda, have my donut, have my cookie, have my candy. You get addicted. Overtakes the mind. How do you get rid of that? You don't eat those foods for a couple of weeks, and it's gone. The dopamine, and you don't even think about it. You just got to get off those foods for a few weeks. There's another type of food addiction. The other type of addiction is called detoxification or withdrawal. You've heard, heard of that, right? When a person stops smoking, do they feel better or worse when they stop smoking? Of course, they feel worse for a few weeks. When you stop drinking, if you're drinking 10 cups of coffee a day, when you stop drinking coffee, do you feel better or worse? You feel like 
garbage. You're weak, you're tired, you're getting headaches. You're looking for that coffee. But in about three or four days, the headaches are gone. Here's the thing, that anything you take that's harmful to your body, it may get, make you feel better when you put the harmful substance in. The pain occurs or the discomfort occurs when you, take the harm, when you stop taking the harmful substance in and the body tries to repair from the harmful substance and throw the toxins out. That's when you feel uncomfortable. And that's where people don't want to feel uncomfortable. The definition of the word addiction is that people feel discomfort when they try to stop doing something. So if you're looking to put as much weight on you as possible, you want to maintain addictions. You want to eat a lot of low-nutrient foods, and particularly scientists have determined, and they, this food manufacturers do this, they figure out how they can make lab animals grow and get obese as fat and make them want to overeat. Because they study this because they want to make overeat in restaurants and fast food manufacturers want to know what to put in their foods to make people want to eat more of it and buy more of it. And that's why they inject the french fry batter with sugar and salt inside the batter. They don't just put salt on the surface of the, veg of the french fries. They put it in the middle so you can't taste it. So you get more salt in the body that you can't even taste. They even add sugar and salt into the burger, into the meat they, they grind up. Because they know if they can get you saltier and more thirsty, it'll make you drink more soda, it'll make you want to eat more. If they can put more oil, if they can get the, you know, get the, deep, the fried oil to soak up the, the, the french fries, it'll be really soaking with a lot of extra calories, it'll drive you to keep overeating. That the secret formula to create obesity is sweeteners, oil, and salt, especially if you can mix them together in a meal. Like, um, you know, like you take a, a sweet pancake or you take, you know, you know, the American diet is like a cake diet, like a pancake diet. Everything's cake, right? They wake up in the morning and they have some kind of white bread. It's like a cake or they have a pancake, a fried cake on the plan, right? And then they, they go to they have a cupcake or they go to, or they have a waffle as a piece of cake or they have a, you know, white bread or a pizza. What's pizza? That's a cake. It's a white bread cake with something with maybe some cheese on top. Or they have pasta, that's like cake, it's white flour, it's like everything's, it's all, it's just one, one white flour, one cake experience from meal to meal. It's a formula for incredibly bad health. So here's the point. We want to, we have to stop those foods. But the American population is doing the opposite of that. The American population is being invaded by fast food restaurants. The number one cause of death in firemen isn't fires, it's heart attacks because they eat so much donuts. Some populations the, around the country, there's not even any supermarkets anymore. There's only fast food restaurants. People are buying their food in fast food restaurants. Look at West Oakland, California. They have one supermarket, 36 liquor stores, and 683 fast food restaurants. Unbelievable. You know, you have one cocaine death per 100,000 people there, but a 200% increased risk of death from prostate cancer and a, and a huge amount of increased risk of death from heart attacks. The more fast food restaurants there are, the worse people eat, death rates go even higher than the bad, than the, all the problems in America already are made even worse because people are eating foods that put more toxins into the body and take away the starving the body for nutrients.